Hi, this is Chris, and I'm going to show you how I made the bridge for my bed bridge bookcase project. I started with a 15 inch wide billy bookcase for the bridge. To make it fit a queen size mattress, I needed to cut it down to a length of 64 inches. But I also needed to reduce the height to 12 and a half inches to match the shelves in the pillars. I cut the bottom shelf to length using a circular saw with a thin curved blade. Note that I used masking tape to minimize chipping of the melamine. The cut edges were sharp, so I cleaned them up using a sanding block. To support the weight of the bridge, I installed three heavy-duty shelf pins at the same height as the top shelf. I secured the shelf with three-inch coarse thread drywall screws that would be hidden when the top shelf was installed. With the bottom of the bridge installed, I could make measurements for all the other pieces. I wasn't worried about the bottom shelf sagging at this point because I knew the bridge would be very strong when assembled. After I cut the top of the bridge, I filled the holes with spackle so they would be less visible when looking up into the bridge. I didn't do this on the bottom because I knew it was high enough that the holes wouldn't be seen. The billy shelves would be used as vertical dividers, but first I needed to cut them down to size, again using masking tape and sanding the edges. To avoid visible screws on the bridge, I decided to use my biscuit joiner, which cuts slots for football-shaped splines that are glued into place. With the divider clamped in position where it would be installed, I marked the location of three biscuits and cut matching slots in the edge of the divider and the corresponding location on the shelf. I just dry fit them at this point to ensure everything was in the right place. Then came the moment of truth. After the pieces were glued together, there would be no moving them. I put a little glue in each slot and spread it out with a small brush. then clamped them down and checked for square. The top shelf was much more challenging because I had to glue all the slots at once. After getting help lining up all the biscuits into the slots, I clamped the whole bridge together. My woodworking idol, Norm Abram, always said you can never have enough clamps, and he was right. Although I have a hodgepodge of clamps, they did a good job of holding the bridge together until the glue dried on all the biscuits. The last step was to cut the back to the correct size and nail it to all the dividers. And that's how I butchered a Billy bookcase to make a bookcase bridge. Thanks for watching. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas. And subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.